right? We're, we're built to be over our feet. And we're built to, to rotate our hips. So there. Um, so I start out with the basic premise that our shoulders should be over our thighs, which are over our feet. So even with a little bend, where are my shoulders? They're over my feet. And the minute that I move my foot out, it means I have to generally lift up my foot or swing my foot to move. Whereas if I'm over, all I have to do is a slight little rotation and I can shift all my body weight. Does that make sense? All right. So I tend to right leg lead. How many of you fight with a right leg lead as a right hander? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that, that's good. It's going to be real easy for you to comprehend. Uh, a lot of folks a few years back weren't doing that. Uh, they were almost all, you know, their shield leg was forward on a right hand and on a left hand. You find that with the right leg lead, it gives you better range. What else does it allow you to do? Step to the left, and one of the things that it allows you to do is to get to the offside when you take that left hand step, right? How many throw offside body shots? Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Okay. So we're going to work on that today, too. That's one of the things that I, I really like using in, in, in my, my particular style, and I think it's something that we could use more of. Um, but once again, going back to your shoulders or over your thighs, which are over your feet. When you're moving, how many of you pick up your feet to move? Do you take a step or do you slide your feet? Slide. Slide. All of us? When you pick up your foot, what does that do to you? Puts your weight on your other leg. Hmm? Makes you run away. Makes you run away? Puts your weight on your other foot. Puts your weight on your other foot. And what happens then? You're not as balanced. Well, you're not as balanced and you're pinned to that foot. All right, so it stops your ability to move because our opponents like to do things that we don't want them to do, don't they? So we want to give ourselves as many options as possible in every fight because we're going to screw up, we're going to make a mistake. So I like to be able to cover for my mistakes because I'm human and I make a lot of them with the ability to change my variables and, and to not get trapped. And once again, that goes back to what? Shoulders, over your thighs, or over your feet. So my base stance is either here or it's here. How many of you stand this close together? Why don't we stand up for a minute? Go into your stance. And move off to your left. What do you do with your foot? You pick it up or you slide it? Hmm? I have a tendency to pick it up. When we do any motions that are, that are drastic, like picking up may not seem drastic, but it's something you can read. All right, so when you're sliding your feet, you're not reading it so much. If you look at the way I'm going to move for the next couple minutes, you're going to notice that when I'm moving, the foot that is moving forward first isn't the one that's driving the motion. If I'm moving back, the front foot is driving me back, or the back foot is driving me forward. And that allows me to keep my feet from, for one, you know, being, putting myself off balance allows me to keep moving, shifting my feet, rotating. And it also allows me to not telegraph my motion. So if I'm in guard, i just lift the foot of hair, and my motion is here. Does this leg come out of my guard, come out from my defense? I stayed in my defense, and I moved. So, how many of you wait for the guy to take a step and throw the shot to the left? 
times. All right, so while we're standing, put your feet, you know, the width of your shoulders apart. There's a wide of your shoulders. Look around, are we all shoulder width? Now put one behind the other at about a 45 degree angle, but keeping shoulder width apart. Now square off your shoulders to that. Now you square them back the other direction. When you when you go now go back to where you're comfortable again. Now switch your leg to your right leg forward. Do the same thing. Rotate. If you rotate back when your right leg's forward, what does that do for your spine? Anyone notice anything when you do it? It kind of coils your muscles along your back. You feel that? So when you're in this stance and you turn yourself so it tightens up the back muscles. When you want to fire, what's it allow you to do? You're in the mode all set. You're ready to fire. You're ready to release your energy. So now my feet are shoulders width apart, and I'm doing that. Widen your stance. Do the same thing. What, what happened? It shortens up your range, and you're not as coiled. It reduces your power. How many of us think that power is important? Yeah. All right. <laughs> we all know it's important. It's also, it's not just important on that first shot, it's important on all the successive shots. So if you're wider, you're going to take longer to do it. You have to generate more muscle to drive the power than you do when you're here. And oh, by the way, you're, you are, in your basic stance, coiled ready to fire. How many have had a problem telegraphing in the past where they wound up to throw their blow? Hmm? Yeah, you see them up ahead of time. You know the guy's going to throw because he pulls the shoulder back and then he delivers. Well, in this basic stance, you don't have to do that because you're already caught. All you have to do is release the energy of <coughs> time. Does that make sense? Oh, making fun of them. <laughs> making fun of Mr. Bachelor Party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have to worry about any projectile vomit. He did that earlier. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> he didn't do that. I'm just making things up. <laughs> there is still a chance and you can make that happen. Something to look forward to today. <laughs> Remember, you get to clean it. <laughs> so, all right, going back, put yourself in that stance, coil yourself up. Why don't we move that foot forward? Oh, you want to put it? Yeah, put yourself in that foot forward. Yeah, look at my feet, match it. You're still I think, I know what you're going to do. Stay right earlier today to use, but I don't know where to put it. So <laughs> put the video on I am I might have to start it over just so you have your own section. <laughs> now I'm not trying to make an example out of you. But no no I do this when I train my own folks. Alright? If they can't 